For every dude who ever wished that two female roommates would double up on him after he got stiff, this is probably not what you had in mind. In a story that asked the Weekend at Bernie's movies to hold its beer, two women in Ohio allegedly found their 80-year-old roommate dead, propped his carcass up shotgun in a car, and then used the drive through at his bank to make a healthy withdrawal from his account. In their defense, there's not a huge difference between being dead and being from Ohio. These cash-conscious Karens were over 50 and sharing a place with an 80-year-old. Just let them have the money. This is honest thieving, which I respect a lot more than the Golden Bachelor. I haven't seen uh, this many wieners since that. college. <laughs> the women were charged with theft and gross abuse of a corpse. Now that seems harsh. Gross abuse of a corpse sounds pretty disgusting. All these women did was just make him run some errands with him. And don't worry, this man will have a fitting funeral and his ashes will be spread at ATMs across the state of Ohio. A new clinical trial suggests that a single dose of LSD can provide relief from anxiety. And my own personal trial suggests that two doses will have you screaming at demons, defecating under a bridge, and clearly seeing how fantastic both options are for president this year. In proof positive that residuals ain't what they used to be, Kirk Cameron's making the media rounds again. I just high five God. The aging actor was a guest on Steve Bannon's podcast because apparently the MyPillow guy slept in, which is actually a pretty good endorsement for his product. During the interview, in a communion cup half full moment, Cameron conveyed that the end times might not be as close as some of his contemporaries think. If these aren't the end times, Kurt, how bad do you think things are going to get? Wars all over the world, climate disaster, plagues, Jason Kelsey's retired, go birds. If Kirk doesn't think this is the end, it means he must know something that we don't. Something glorious. And I know what that is. Growing Pains is getting a reboot, baby. The world will end, but not until Kirk and the gang gives us 13 more episodes. How's that for a revelation? You got $82,000 and a disappointment fetish? Then check this out. A recent auction saw the booth from the final universally despised scene from The Sopranos sell for over $82,000. For those of you too young to remember The Sopranos, it was like Game of Thrones, but with garbage trucks instead of dragons and therapy instead of incest. That may be wrong. I didn't really watch it. When the highest bidder was asked what they were going to do with a five-figure restaurant booth, their face went blank for a moment before they muttered, what the f*** did I just do? Also included in the auction was the living room set from Two and a Half Men and Jim from According to Jim. 